And to the political scandal in Ottawa, Senator Mike Duffy's expenses and the check that was supposed to make all his troubles go away. Today, another conservative senator was on the hot seat trying to do damage control. And as Shirley Engel reports, the Tories are now being forced to look at what they'd promised to get into power, Senate reform. It's the $90,000 question on everyone's mind. Where is the paper trail on the controversial gift the Prime Minister's former Chief of Staff, Nigel Wright, gave Senator Mike Duffy to pay back his improperly claimed housing allowance? Is there anything, a piece of paper, a post-it note, a sticky note, detailing what was expected in that deal? Absolutely not. I, I absolutely do not believe that there was any kind of uh, document. That's my understanding. That emphatic statement from government House leader Marjorie LeBreton on the West Block was met with disbelief by opposition leader Tom Mulcair. Do you buy that? No, because we know that there's at least a check, and that's paper, and we can find out who made the check, and was it from a trust account, and what are the rules of that trust account. There are email exchanges as well, we know that. So it's not true that there's no documentation around this. LeBreton acknowledges the Senate's legitimacy is in question and points to her party's efforts at reforms. The moment we got the majority in the Senate, we started issuing, we, we started issuing uh, quarterly Senate expenses. Now, is that enough? No, it's not enough. It clearly exposed some very serious uh, issues here. She plans to push for a vote on the proposed tightening of expense rules on Tuesday, hoping to get it done before the summer break. And as the scandal drags into another week on Parliament Hill, the Prime Minister will be back from South America to face more questions. One pollster told the West Block because $90,000 is an amount more relevant to Canadians, it's about twice the average annual salary in this country, this scandal may stick more than others. That's a lot of money. That's stuff they could really wrap their head around. So this issue from the standpoint of Mr. Harper and the Conservative government is really going to be their first big test of, I think, a major political crisis. But will it be enough to turn voters off two years from now? Shirley Engel, Global News, Ottawa.